Before I fall asleep, <laughs> I would just want to report my daily findings. So, for the first time, I have bought my website. It, it took a while, um, and I bought a full year's worth of services, but that was it. I just bought the website and picked a style. Got the domain name and everything, um, but have done really nothing else because just the whole process just took a lot out of me. The style that I bought, which was one of the um, styles dedicated towards music artists, um, it cost a little extra. <laughs> and um, I do need to customize it for my own liking, but at least I have a template to work with. <laughs> but... It took uh, a long time to get it set up and everything. As a matter of fact, I had to call uh, customer support uh, because I needed extra help in trying to um, troubleshoot it. But uh, it's, it's up and running. There's nothing up on there yet, so it does me no good to to uh, tell anyone about it, other than the fact that it happened. And I've been sitting here trying to write a description for the style of music that I have. And I came up with the term brain rock, not brain rot, the opposite, brain rock. Because when I, um, when I come across the word rock and as a genre, my music really doesn't come to mind. There are certain songs of mine that f would fit into th to that genre, but yes, when I think of rock, I think of ACDC, I think of Boston. Um, but everyone from the Beatles to the Beach Boys to Coldplay, even, is considered a rock band. It's so it's kind of like the the term woke in a, in a sense. I mean, woke as a pejorative nowadays, but um, I only make the relation to that because everyone has their own definition for it. <laughs> um, so in the broadest definition, yes, you can consider my music rock. But I'm, I've basically accepted the fact that the public people at large, you can f fight it with every breath of your being, but people are going to pigeonhole you, put you in a box, um, and categorize you. And there's not really much you can do about it. Um, other than just be your authentic self, you know, that sort of thing. Um, yes, so everyone in their own life has to decide for themselves whether they want to be a trailblazer and carve out their own path in life or fall in line and blend in. And... <laughs> The sum of my existence has always been about non-conforming. <laughs> um, if you knew me, you would know. Um, but yeah, I have been struggling to define my sound because it includes a lot of different styles. And um, yeah, that has been the, the thing that I have struggled with um, for almost my entire life because I started writing music when I was young, um, the age of seven. But yeah, I think Brain Rock was going to do for now. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can <laughs> be a trailblazer in this sense and 
create a new path. Hopefully other people will uh, feel the uh, desire to follow it, and who knows.